Hello, welcome to my channel. So Halloween looks different for a lot of us. Trick or treating is different, trunk or treats are different. Some municipalities and locations are not permitting people to go out and trick or treat. And so I know for our family, we have made some changes on how we celebrate Halloween. And so I just wanted to share a couple ideas that we have for crafts and recipes and just family experiences to cement this Halloween in our memories as a good and positive and uplifting season. So if that's something that you're interested in watching, then enjoy. So the first thing I suggest is to get outside to collect leaves. And you can do that in whatever way is possible for you, whether that's a local nature preserve or your own backyard. The best time to collect leaves is directly after wind or even rain. The first project that we did with our leaves was to dip them in melted beeswax, which is different than what we've done in years past, which is use Mod Podge, and we really enjoyed the process of dipping them in leaves. You can see here in this picture the double boiler that you need. The leaf on the left is finished and the leaf on the right has just come out. Once we started dipping the leaves in the beeswax, we just wanted to beeswax all the things. So we came up with some other projects, but with these individual leaves, we made a garland that we strung across in our dining room. The kids really enjoyed tying them on. You can see that the leaves really kept their color well and it didn't lose color over time. The next project we tried as we got more confident with the beeswax was to make tea light candle holders. This required a water balloon. The instructions said to make different water balloons, but for us, we were able to reuse the same one. It also made a big mess, but this is what the outcome was, and we really enjoyed this project. We experimented with flowers and ferns, and you can see the water balloon back there. We were able to peel that out, and it really turned out nice. I'll show you here what it looks like completed for the gifts. So for the next session, I decided to go ahead and put on YouTube a background scene where it was just raining and cozy and just played this in the background as we got ready to prepare for our more independent projects. I've also found scenes that are playing jazz in the background as well, if you'd prefer that. So this craft is very independent. We found some rocks on our hike and they, I got paints out for the kids and they decided to paint various animals. Eventually they chose to just have a bear and a bat and a fox and a rat. This is also an independent task and it is making pipe cleaner spiders. It does require hot glue use though. I got this idea from Sabrina at A Simple Happy Life on YouTube and she had crows and shared this book and I thought this would be a fun addition to our Halloween animal collection. Continuing in the theme of books, we love to read The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. This is the original Washington Irving version. We typically, however, read this other illustrated version. It's by Grandma Moses' descendant, Will Moses and the illustrations are lovely and then this year I decided to surprise the kids and got them the Lego Headless Horseman and we also watched the Disney cartoon as well. So this year for pumpkin carving, I found some stencils on pumpkinstencils.org and I also got a really nice carving set at Target and we chose our pumpkins. We can get them locally for just a couple bucks and we will pin those on and carve to our heart's content and we will cook the seeds after we scoop them out. 
Growing up, I had a grandmotherly neighbor who made me popcorn balls every year for Halloween when we visited her. She made the real popcorn balls with the candy thermometer and the real caramel. I, however, do not have the patience or skills for that, and so I found a recipe that uses marshmallows and butter and popcorn. It's basically a Rice Krispie Treat using popcorn instead. We also read the Tommy DePaula popcorn book to learn a lot about popcorn at the same time, and we love eating these popcorn balls during our our tea time poetry times. So as a way to bless delivery people that arrive at our house, I wrote a cute little poem. I printed it out and put it on top of a bucket that I got at Walmart. I filled it with candy and then put it on top of a long Frankenstein head that my mother-in-law made for us. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got some ideas or inspiration on ways that you can make this Halloween season special for your own family. If this was a video that you liked, then please click the thumbs up below. And if you'd like to see more like this, then please subscribe. Until next time.